All right, guys, ah, you can't see it. We're leaving that sale back there. It's like the third or fourth sale I've hit. Got any old video games? They're like, no, somebody already bought them. Somebody already bought them. That guy, he's got an Atari in his basement. But he wants to see if his kids or his grandkids want it. And I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm thinking if they haven't come in and picked it up, you know, since 1995, they probably don't want it. But he didn't want to sell it. Ah. Uh, so somebody's kicking my ass today. They're like ahead of me by one or two sales. So I think I'm gonna break from the path of garage sales that I've got uh, and maybe kind of go freestyle, go off radar a little bit. So hopefully that works out. going on guys we're gonna shoot this shadju style from the trunk i'll show you what i got a bunch of tabletop games this is something like nick sage would get all wet in the britches about so i didn't want to like in in the game room like i got this one i got this one i figured it'd be faster to do it this way so this is what we got all right we spent 43 dollars at this garage sale i saw this i thought this was a collector's edition or something i did not realize that crimson skies was a tabletop board game with you know, all these cool little action figure -y pieces, but we got all of those for 43 bucks. And then we got these, this was all included. Starship Troopers, Talisman. Uh, this one's Fortress Utopia. This one was weird, like, I almost didn't want to buy it. But <laughs> uh, America, apparently that one's worth like 70 bucks. Uh, King... Kingmaker and Firefight. So hopefully we'll make a little little profit on those. Those were like three, four bucks a piece. That one was 20, so uh, not bad. What is going on, guys? Welcome to this episode of the pickups. Uh, we went out for a little bit today. It was weird because like I walked up to the first sale and uh, you know you had some slot car racing sets and some guy was already buying them, so I kind of missed out. And I have a feeling the same guy was at the next sale before I got there. Yeah, because they said they sold their video games just before I got there. So I was able to get those uh, those board games, those tabletop games, which trying to comp those out is a little weird. Some of the prices are like, oh, $80, but then it's like $24 plus $20 shipping. So is that like $40? Bucks? Like, where are we at with this thing? I don't know. I have to do a little bit more research. I'm pretty confident that we're going to get our $43 back and then some. Uh, that Crimson Skies is pretty sweet. But uh, garage sale. Okay. So $1.50 we picked up Madden 19 and FIFA 19 on Xbox One. It's like a compilation and it is still sealed. Uh, probably get about 20 bucks for that. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Have not seen this movie in a while. It's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Picked that up for 25 cents. Um, and then I'll flip it. It's like it's like a four or five dollar DVD, guys. We're not, we're not killing the world here. Here's another one, Age of Empires Gold Edition. It's got all the stuff in there, I believe. Yeah, all the little codes and everything else right <laughs> you steal my campfire code my age empire codes uh again not not a crazy expensive game maybe maybe 10 bucks there i don't know i'll have to do a little bit more research uh oh this was a cool uh cool garage sale so two dollars we picked up a wiimote in the box unfortunately this one has the battery pack thing that nyko thing and it doesn't have the Wii Plus or the Wii Motion adapter. But I figured two bucks for a Wiimote, you know, we could sell that or trade it into GameStop, no problem. And then they had a 32 gigabyte uh, iPod, iPod Touch. There's a guy's picture on there. But uh, I came with the charger. I figured for five bucks, that was probably a decent deal. It was, uh, it was really hot today. So, and it got hot like super early. So I, I, I don't know, like... I get to a certain point when doing the garage sales, usually about 10, 10 30. I'm like, if there's a thrift store nearby or a pawn shop, I'm going to stop. So we stopped at uh, Goodwill, picked up this bag of toys for $5. We'll be using that for an episode of Toys, Legos, and Collectibles. There is a, I'll move this out of the way, that's the receipt. So you can see it, there is a transformer in there, which is awesome. And then going by the instructions, there's some Lego stuff in there. I wish this whole set was in there, I don't think it is. Uh, this set's worth about $70, but 
it's not in there. I can tell you right now because there's no Catwoman minifigure. Uh, so we'll, we'll deal with that later. But for five bucks, I figure for, you know, the Transformer, five bucks is a good deal. I uh, found a Nintendo GameCube Power Brick at a hobby store for $5. Picked up uh, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 14. This is the historic edition. This is the one that you want to keep an eye out for. 2014 is good, 2013 is good, but this historic edition where you can play Masters, Augusta National from like 1934, uh, this is the one that brings the most money. Uh, people are asking like 50, 60, 70 bucks for this on eBay. I paid 20 for it, so I'm hoping I can double my money out of it, and uh, that would be a good day for me. Uh, <laughs> that Goodwill, and I saw this. It is the At Games Sega Genesis. It was $4. Comes with the power cord, the AV cable, you know, two controllers. And I thought, uh, I'm not buying that piece of junk, right? But then the more I thought about it, like I did sell off all of my Sega Genesis consoles except for a Model 1 that I have in a box. So it's like instead of getting that one out of the box every time I need to test something, this one will has a cartridge slot and will play Sega Genesis games. So I figure I'll keep this up here in a drawer. And that way if I have to test games, I've... I've got my At Games Sega Genesis console. Stopped by, uh, okay, well, I guess there's a little backstory. So we have this store in town. It's called Was New. It's a resale shop. The guy buys storage units, you know, buys out inventory from places or wherever. And he puts it in his store. The problem is, is that while he's out doing all of that stuff, there's like one person, his daughter, and some other person that, that helps run this store. And because they have so much stuff, a lot of stuff doesn't get put out, doesn't get priced. I happened to see some of this like in the back, asked about it. She was nice enough to bring all the stuff out. I saw, what I saw was a plastic tub about this big, about that deep, with Super Nintendo games stacked in. I was like, can I see that? She was like, those aren't priced. I was like, can I see that? <laughs> yeah, maybe we can work something out. And unfortunately, they were all sports games. But we did find some stuff back there. She said she'd have to talk to the person that prices the stuff. I went in today and uh, tried to work out a deal with the guy. I wanted it for 10, he said 20. I said 15, because the one thing doesn't work, but I'm gonna sell for parts. And he said, uh, no, I'm standing, standing at 20, so you should be able to make your money back. He understood. So for 20 bucks cash, we got a Sega Game Gear console. Uh, it's got the uh, the battery covers on it, which is nice. It does power on. It's got a bunch of lines that go across the screen, bad capacitors. But the last one I had, I sold for 20 bucks for parts only. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna put this one up for like 25 with shipping parts only. And then that gives us the rest of this stuff uh, for free. So, you know, if you piece it out, each piece was five bucks. Uh, we got a beat up copy of Zelda for five. You can see the paint starting to wear on it. It's got a little blue stain uh, the back. So I'll have to get in there and clean that out. And a copy of Adventures of Link. Not high profit items here, but every little bit helps. Uh, like I said, I'll probably clean these out and I'll probably throw these both up for 20 for the pair. Um, if we can get them cleaned and working, but yeah. But what I really wanted, those, I knew I could resell those. This is what we wanted. Uh, and hopefully we get to keep it, hopefully it works, but it is a copy of Tactics Ogre for the uh, the PlayStation 1. The disc is scratched. Oh yeah, you guys can see that right there. The disc is pretty nasty, but I do have that disc resurfacer, so we will try to um, resurface that and make an honest game out of it. Uh, the last thing here, uh, again, it was like 12.30 or so, but uh, I, go to this, I go to the thrift store, everything's half off today. Everything's half off today and tomorrow. And uh, this thrift store does this a couple times a year where they just want to purge inventory because it's, it's huge. Like the, the main part of the, uh, the uh, thrift store is huge. The back where the warehouse is is like three times as big and they can't get stuff out of there. So it's, it's just always packed in there. You know what I mean? Like it's one of those places. Uh, so I couldn't believe that this was still sitting in the collector's counter. Um, it's a wee lot, and uh, you know if you if you're in the market, you know what's going on. GameCube and Wii stuff is like white hot right now. It is selling so fast, and it's selling at super high prices. Uh, I think Lonnie on Garage Flips got a hundred dollars for a Wii and some basically like some Just Dance games. So to get this for forty bucks, and that was half off, so we got everything for twenty. 
is uh, really, really awesome. They don't pay for the whole day. But uh, there's the console. It is the first gen that plays GameCube games. I powered it on in the store. There wasn't a bonus game, but there's uh, Wii Play. Very nice copy of Wii Sports. Uh, this game was on the shelf. It was supposed to be uh, $4, but I put it on the box and she was like, just 20 for everything's fine. So we got ABBA You Can Dance <laughs> for for free. She threw that one in there. That's like a $20 game. Uh, it's got the power cable. This and the AV cable, I've got one. I've got like a couple extra actually, but it's also missing the sensor bar. Uh, we have one controller, two controllers, some of the Wii condoms, a couple of the uh, Wii Motion Plus attachments, nunchucks, the stand, and uh, all the manuals and stuff. But I thought that was a really good deal. I'm very happy to have it. Uh, that is it for this first bundle. So let's just go to the car and I'm sure I'm complaining about something. All right, guys, we are at the Village Discount Outlet, Ohio's best thrift store. I don't know about that. But I will say this, uh, garage sales may have been sporadic at best. There's supposed to be a couple community sales this weekend. So hopefully that pans out. But today is Monday. Uh, wife is still doing her rehab thing. So thought I'd slide over, hit the thrift store, go to the post office, run to the, uh, the grocery store, make sure the kids are taken care of, clean the house a little bit, and then head over to... Uh, the rehab center and drop her off some snacks and some sodas and some com creature comforts that kind of stuff so but you guys know monday is here if it's whatever color tag it is it is 75 cents so hopefully there'll be a lot of video games that are 75 cents because we'll probably just buy them all